Welcome to video 17. In this video, we are going to talk about cash flow statement. One financial statement which is very important but not quite given the attention that it deserves. But it's very fascinating and interesting. Let's talk about this. So friends, on this slide, I'm going to talk about three different types of cash flows. And it is the same framework which I have explained to you in one of the earlier videos. And here I'm talking about a framework where we can see income expenses, equity liabilities and assets, those five important accounting ideas. In, and in addition, we also have inflows and outflows. I'm sure you would remember this framework. The only thing which was absent on similar slide in one of the earlier videos was that I had not given any nomenclature to these arrows. There were only simply arrows there. And we had seen the reasons why those three inflows and three outflows happened. But here what you can see is there are pairs, three pairs of one inflow and one outflow. The upper pair is cash flow from operating activities. Why? Because you can see that in is related to income, which means this is the money we collect from customers and the out is what we pay to the vendors. So naturally, this is what happens in day-to-day -day operations, cash flow from operating activities. If you see the lower right-hand side, this is where we talk about asset creation, which means investing. We invest in assets. We expand our business. But there are occasions when companies have to undergo reconstruction, transformation. They get rid of those assets also. Uh, they become too asset heavy. They get rid of those assets. So normally there is an expansion and outflow happening, but there are occasions when an inflow also can happen by way of sale of assets. So that pair is called as cash flow from investing activities. And the left hand pair is about financing. We will remember equity and liabilities, equity and debt are the two main sources of finance because of which money comes into the business. That is the inflow. But we need to also service them. We need to pay interest. We need to pay dividend. We need to repay those loans. So all that is a matter of outflow. So that pair is called as cash flow from financing activities. But we are going to discuss these pairs in greater detail in later videos. So we just saw that there are six components of cash flows. Three components for inflows, collection of income, sale of assets, fundraising activity. That means we raise money from equity, debt sources and three reasons for outflows payment for expenses we pay various vendors then we purchase assets and we also service the obligations arising out of equity and debt investment that we have received from investors and lenders and we need to pay them interest we need to pay the dividend as the case may be we have to repay the loans that we have taken so that is the servicing of obligations that you can see now the three pairs have been given the same nomenclature that we saw earlier. So collection of income, payment for expenses together are the operating cash flow. Sale of assets, purchase of assets is the investing cash flow. Fundraising and servicing of obligations is the financing cash flow. Now, what we can clearly see is the left ones are inflows, the right ones are outflows. And in arithmetic terms, we can call this as plus because that money gets deposited into our bank account. The right hand side we can call as minus because this is where money goes out of the bank account. The same principles can apply to our personal life also. In fact, in our personal life also we have operating cash flow, we have investing cash flow and we have financing cash flow. Maybe I'll have an occasion to explain this through a, another video, but uh, for now you can think of why I am saying that there is a clear parallel between what happens in business life and personal life. So I'm again putting those three uh, cash flows, but I'm not gi giving the details of the inflow and outflow here. I'm now talking about the net. What do I mean by net? Net means net of inflow and outflow. So inflow minus outflow is the net flow. If inflow is larger uh, than the outflow, then we'll, it will have a plus sign. If the inflow is smaller than the outflow, it will have a minus sign. And that will happen for each of those three buckets. Uh, and the net result of all these three will be the net cash flow for the year. And net, net cash flow for the year simply means to that extent our bank balance either increased or decreased. When I say our, it could be at a personal level or it can be at the corporate level. So here 
we can have plus or minus sign for each of those net cash flows net operating cash flow could be positive or negative which means if it is positive inflows would be more than outflows if net investing cash flow is positive that means the inflow from sale of assets is more than the outflow for acquiring new assets similarly net financing cash flow if it is positive it means we have taken money from others more than what we have given back to them if it is negative that means we have given it back more than what we have taken fresh money we are going to see that on the next couple of slides too and of course the net result of all these pluses and minuses would be what happened for the whole year in terms of net cash flow so again quickly three types of cash flows net ca net cash flow from operating activity could be plus or minus net cash flow from investing activity could be plus or minus and the same thing for financing activity also now can we generalize about interpretation of the signs of net cash flows for each of the above type think about it uh, can we generalize this what i mean thereby is can we say something about what should be the net cash flow from operating activities in a company should it be positive or should it be negative in other words should we be collecting more money from customers than what we pay to vendors or should we be paying more money to vendors than what we collect from customers what's your thought i think you guessed it right the net cash flow from operating activities must be positive that means we should collect more Uh, money from our customers and what we pay to vendors in other words the price that we charge to our customers and eventually collect should be more than the costs or expenses that we have incurred for the purpose of acquiring a variety of resources to be able to deliver those goods and services similarly the net cash flow from investing activity what can be the generalization net cash flow from investing activities would be plus if we are getting rid of old assets but not investing in new assets enough on the other hand net cash flow from investing activity activity will be negative if we are investing far more than what we are selling in terms of old assets what do you think i think you guessed it right for any good company which is expanding the net cash flow from investing activity should be negative what we mean by negative is money is going out of our system but that is obviously not a waste it is creating new assets new factories new plant and equipment new offices that is good thing to happen rather than we getting rid of our plants getting rid of offices or if you are in hotels business getting rid of hotels which means we have a problem because of which we are selling those hotels so typically the net cash flow from investing activities should be negative what do you think uh, about net cash flow from financing activity we cannot generalize here a little bit because it really depends on the other two types of cash flows and why i'm saying this will become more evident when i'm going to take actual data as example and then we'll see financing activity really depends on what we are doing in the other two so if our operating cash flows are very very strongly positive and they are sufficient to take care of investing activities we don't need finance from outside rather we may repay the loans that we have taken is it not an example that can apply to our personal life also so for example if you are uh, earning a very very fat salary and you are going to buy a tiny house which costs just a fraction of that you don't actually need to take a fresh loan rather you would get rid of some of your old loans if you still have any so the same principle applies in the corporate world too think about it so very quickly i don't want to repeat too much but if net cash flow from operating activities is positive the company is collecting more cash out of sales than it is paying to vendors if it is negative the company is not able to collect sufficient cash to pay off its vendors that's not a good sign similarly if net cash flow from investing activities is positive the company is realizing money from its past investments than expanding on the other hand if it is negative it is expanding through new investments more than what it is fetching from sale of old investments or old assets and lastly net cash flow from financing activities will be positive if the company is raising more funds from the market than returning them and if it is negative that means the company is either repaying back or paying off compensation more than taking fresh funds so friends uh, i am going to create another video 
uh, which will have an example of uh, the cash flow interpretation so do watch that video also because that will make the concepts that we just discussed explicitly clear thank you for your patience i know this was a long video but i know uh, the subject was so interesting and i hope you got value